Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. You guys, here's what's going on. We got a grocery haul for you today. We spent $82, $12 over our budget. My budget was 70, but 82 it is. Okay, I picked up some red potatoes. I have not been eating potatoes, but I think I'm gonna roast some of these tonight and um, put them in the oven i think i need to get the oven on so that we can roast up some of these potatoes uh they were 2.99 at food line i shopped food line this week because they had the better deals but i did go to harris teeter for cheese so i got um red potatoes 2.99 bananas were 55 cents a pound they had their cabbage on sale for 49 cents a pound so i picked up two small cabbages we picked up some paper plates for $1.99 this mayonnaise was 3.69 there was mayonnaise at Harris Teeter for almost $8. Um, what is life, friends? This Country Granola Raisin Bran was $2.99. The regular Raisin Bran brand was $6 and some change. Uh, these Wild Wonder Tomatoes were two for five, so I picked up two of those. These are getting ready to go in the um, dehydrator. Best deal of the week because I didn't get meat for the last couple of weeks, but this Boston uh, Butt pork butt was 99 cents a pound so i got one for 8.95 that is um let's see nine pounds and then i got another one for 801 and this is eight pounds just a little bit over eight pounds grapes were a dollar nine not a dollar 99 per pound a dollar 49 let me get that right and then this smart chicken, this is air chilled chicken. It was $7.99, but they had it on a sale for $1.99. I picked that up for Jack, so I thought he might enjoy that as an after school snack. Picked up two things of almond milk. Alana picked those up, so I don't know the price. At Food Lion, and everything this way from Food Lion, so from the milk, the meat, was um, $100 when I got my MVP down to 52. So $100 and then my MVP brought it down to 52. Just the meat by itself, 20 plus another 20 was my whole budget, which I had to spend at Harris T, I mean at Food Line, which was $40. Now I think I'm gonna cut this into smaller size roasts. So I think I'm gonna try to get at least three roasts out of these. So that'll give us six different uh, meat options whether it's a lunch or a dinner but i'm going to try to cut these in thirds if i'm able and try to trim up some of this fat as well so that was a good deal the only things i got at harris teeter was the cheese they had buy two get three free so it was like seven dollars for five and i got ten we needed some of this um sweet relish because we are out we need that for chicken salad they had this chunky salsa for $1.39. I wish I had more money. I would have stocked up. That was on the 75% off rack, but I didn't have any more money. And then the Oikos Triple Zero yogurt, which I really like. And because it gives me protein, was 10 for 10. And I picked up 10. So that's my grocery haul. That's what I got. Um, Again, my total spent this week was $82. I'm getting ready to do some meal prep. I want to make some broth with some chicken that we have. So I'm going to bring you along. All right, you guys, I have a couple onions. They are really like at the very end and I'm going to chop them up, put them in some broth because I have got to make, um, I'm making some chicken broth. Now I'm not going to can this chicken broth but I am going to um, put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in my quart jars in the fridge just so we can. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to get some stuff out of here. Okay. I'm gonna put them in the um, quart jars in the fridge because I do plan to use them, use it. So I'm trying to get, um, couple of my pieces out of here that I can use. Okay. All right, that's fine too. All right. So some of y'all saw the video that I did um, with Timu, and I do want to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. 
thank you so much. And um, they sent us some kitchen essentials, right? And so we're gonna be using these kitchen essentials to work on a couple of projects in the house. The first thing is broth. And I'm gonna get some, some onions cut using this slicer that they sent us. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is use this. Okay, these are at the very end of their life and I only have two. So I'm just gonna use these two up. Um, we had one of these slicers before, but um, it got in the, in the dishwasher and it got, um, the blades got messed up. Now, some people put their onion peels in their chicken broth. I don't, and I don't have to. It's perfectly fine not to. So I'm just gonna take my onions. Of course, I've got my um, blade on the inside, and then I'm, I love to give it a good whack, like whack a mold. All right, y'all. So I'm just gonna finish slicing these onions. This makes my life so much easier than having to cut each onion and then all the tears and all the things, which I'm really not trying. See, onions just need used. Okay, so I'm just pulling that top off. It's just going in the broth. I'm gonna strain it out anyway, so I'm not worried about it. I honestly didn't have to um, do all of this, but I'm doing it anyway just because it makes me feel better. We get ready to chop up some potatoes as well. Cause I've got some potatoes that need used. Okay, this has to be one of the easiest uh, pieces of equipment to use. It works out so much better when your onions ain't old too, which they were neat and used. So some of those skins are a little bit tough and I can still throw those in the broth as well. Okay. So that's what we have in here. I don't have celery at all. All right, I'm gonna take my onions over to my Instant Pot and throw my chicken in. All right, I'm gonna start this um, broth. So I have the rotisserie chickens uh, left over from, you know, my friend brings chicken on Saturday. So what we do, what I like to do, is I like to go ahead and get these in the, um, in the um, Instant Pot and I like to put it on the meat setting so that this meat gets real tender. Whatever comes off this carcass, because we are gonna pick the carcass again, and we wanna get out all of the gelatinous parts, because I wanna use up all of that to help make a nice broth. Okay, so that's one. And then here's another one. I'll put some of this um, skin in the dog bowl. I'll put some of that in the dog bowl. meals okay all right so i'm just gonna take the bottom of my chopper off i've got my onions in here i'm throwing those in again i could have threw them in whole without any problem but i just wanted to chop them and to make sure i got any bad spots off as well because they had been sitting in there for a long time just need it used okay i'm gonna use this again now I'm gonna season this, add water, and I'm gonna put it on the meat setting for 45, 50 minutes. It's in, instant pot, so it's gonna do all the things. Now again, I'm not a, I'm not canning this broth. I'm planning to use it here very shortly. So I am gonna put it into quart jars, and I'm going to. Um, but I'm getting ready to start the process of learning how to can, right? Because it's getting ready to be seasoned. Okay. 
and you can start learning things ahead of time, right? At least I think you can. That's pretty full. Okay. Oh, I know what I was looking for. And there's also some chicken skin for the dogs as well that they can have. Now I am going to put some chicken bouillon into this stock because I'm not going to cook it for a long, long time. And I do want to give it a nice flavor, which is perfectly fine. Again, I'm not canning it. I'm just, I am going to put it in my can, in my jars, but we're going to use it. Okay, I'm closing that. I'm putting it on the meat section. On the, let me see, is there a broth one? Yeah, there's a broth one. But I'm gonna do it on broth for 30 minutes. And then we're still gonna pick the meat. I'm gonna strain out the veggies and then we're gonna can uh, jar up that broth. Manual. Try this little gadget. It's got to be the easiest little thing I've ever used. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Yeah, put your So you just slice it in half and then slice it in half. I just cut it, slice it in half, and then slice it in. Put those in freezer bags, right? Yeah. Okay. But I gotta get ready to. I gotta leave. I can't. I just want to jump in here and say that this crinkle cut, wavy, crinkle cutting knife is the easiest thing ever. Even easy enough for a 13 year old. And here you have Jackson working on the meat, and Sister finished up the chicken salad. Okay, you guys, so my um, Instant Pot has stopped with the um, broth. So I'm actually gonna just quick release that. We have dishes to do. So we're gonna get to those in a second. And Jackson actually just finished cutting up the meat and we put that in the freezer, okay. So we're getting ready to get these fries in. Jackson, bump it to 425. Um, okay. The Mashed, but the potatoes for the mashed potatoes are done. So those are good. Mm. 
Now what we gotta do is just empty those, I mean, uh, dump out some of that water and we'll mash these. And we're getting ready to put the fries in. Where's the thing, babe? Hold on, we got a thing. Remember? Look. Uh -huh. So we got us another little nifty gadget from Timu. This goes over the sink, just like that. And then we can um, put our put our potatoes and just dump them all in. So that just goes over the sink and it's a nifty little gadget. And so now it just helps us to, well, he's just using it as a strainer but it also lets you, you can put your fruit in there, your veggies in there to wash. So this just helps us. So now he got all of his potatoes in. The next thing we wanna do is get them out on paper towels to dry them off very, very good. Yes, lovely? I'll show you when you're done. Okay, perfect. And we're getting ready to get these in the oven. So a couple of things we did get done. We got the broth done. I do have to let that cool before I can even put that into my uh, jars. So my broth is done, my potatoes, are cut, these are getting ready to go into the oven. Alana's gonna come and mash these potatoes and we have the meat cut. So just a couple little things. Oh, and the chicken salad is done as well. Very good, I had to step out for a second. Alrighty, you guys, so here's my broth. It is still very, very hot, but look at that color. I am gonna strain that out and we're gonna pick the rest of the meat off of the bone of the chickens, the two chicken carcasses. And what I am gonna do is I am going to um, probably make like a chicken soup or something with that. That's what I'm gonna do with, with all of that. But I am gonna uh, jar up some of this broth and just put it in the fridge. And I should have a couple days to leave it in there because I'm not gonna can it yet. I'm not jumping into the canning journey just yet, but I will very soon. I had to step out um, for a second. My sister is moving. Not my sister, y'all hear me talk about quite often, but my other, actually my blood, blood sister is moving closer to where we live. And um, she wanted me and my sister, y'all hear me talk about quite often to come over and check out the digs. And so I just stepped over there. It's real close to my house. So I stepped over there really quickly. Alana, do you want to help get maybe some uh, more pa <sighs> paper towels? Alana, would you? <laughs> what was that, Alana? Your weak care. What was that again, sister? Oh my goodness! It is a proven fact that nobody can come past their neighborhood without them having something to say. Okay. Okay. Right. We're gonna get these fries dried off. And then we're gonna put them on our tray and we'll show you what we're doing with them then. Okay, this is probably my favorite um, piece that we got from Timu. This is the um, oil dispenser and I absolutely love this. We just filled this up with olive oil and it dispenses the oil right out. All you have to do is spray, point and spray. Now, because I like this so much, I really would, should, I should order another one and put it in my bathroom for body oil because I like to moisturize in the shower. That's probably TMI, but your skin, my skin gets dry. And so it's always good to moisturize, but just like I'm moisturizing these potatoes right now, you could do the same. And you can put whatever oil, I use a specific body oil, but you could also put like peppermint drops or you know eucalyptus drops in your oil and have like a scented body oil, or you can buy them from some places. But this is my favorite. This is the absolute favorite thing that I bought, that I got um, in the Kitchen Essentials. And Jackson loves it too. And we just um, keep refilling it when it gets low but um, I'm gonna just spray these. Jackson's gonna season these fries up and they're gonna go into the oven, 425. We're just about done with this kitchen prep night, but we just have a few more things to get done. Here we have mashed potatoes 
Those are garlicky mashed potatoes. I went ahead and just did all of those mashed potatoes up. Half of the five pound bags that we got from Food Lion. And um, we did that in the Instant Pot. Jackson did the um, fries. We baked them and then we put them in uh, some oil to deep fry. But look at the crinkle cut, y'all. That again was that tool, that utensil that we got from Timu. And we just love that little thing. It's my favorite thing in life. Again, thank you, Timu, for sponsoring today's video. And then Jackson just finished up some focaccia. So he actually made that from scratch. Jackson loves, loves, loves to cook. And he loves to bake. This is a nice bread. It's nice and um, crunchy, toasty. So he made that. Very good. So again, I do want to thank Timu so much for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. There is a coupon code that is down in the description box. It's Sky4349. If you are a new customer and you never tried Timu and you want to get a discount, please use that uh, coupon code. Uh, we love all the products that we got, but the ones that we use today are some of our favorites. Of course, the chopper, the um, oil spray bottle, and the... Um, when I was using that, it was just cutting it like butter. That um, fry cutter, the crinkle, the crinkle fry cutter, it just went through so easily. So I was so thankful. Alana got the meat masher out talking about, Mom, can I mash the mashed potatoes with the meat masher? No, ma'am. Ma'am, it's a no. Put that up. Anywho, there it is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.